What's up guys, this is a quick tutorial for setting up SDL2 with Visual Studio. I'm going to assume you already have a Visual Studio project set up with C++. And in case you don't want me to walk th through this with me, I'll just type out all the directions and put them up in a screenshot at the end of the video. No reason to waste time, let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to want to go do is go to the SDL website and click releases on the download page. This will bring you to the GitHub and all you have to do is download the one that says SDL2 Devel VC.zip. Now you could close out of the GitHub page and go to the file you just downloaded, right click it, extract all, and remember that where you put these files is important because you have to keep them to use them. I keep mine in a folder called libraries, but for this video I'll just have them on the desktop. Okay, now you need to open up your project source file. And for me, that's going to file explorer, then local disk, then users, my name, source, repos, then the project. Then what you want to do is go to the SDL2 folder, then to the lib folder, and then into x64. Once here, you take the sdl2.dll file and put it into your project source file. I actually copy it and don't drag it because uh, I would, don't want to take the one out of the other one. Make sure you hit OK and apply after all of those steps. Now make a C++ file in your project. I name mine main. OK, now because we picked x64, in our project, next to where it says debug, we're going to change that to x64. Now go to project, then at the bottom properties, and now from this screen is where we make the rest of our changes. So first go to VC++ directories, then include directories, hit edit, then the little folder, then the little drop down tab, and finally, you want to navigate to your SDL2 folder and select the include folder, then hit OK and make sure you hit apply. Now go down to library directories, and this is the exact same process, except you want to find the x64 file in the lib folder, in the SDL2 folder. Okay, now we want to switch over to the linker tab and go to general, additional library directories and navigate to library x64, just like before. Next, go to input, additional dependencies. And this one's a little different because you type in the lib and main files manually. These are inside the x64 folder. Make sure you type them exactly the same as they are in the folder and then hit OK and apply when you're done. And finally, go to system, subsystem, and switch it over to console. This is nice and easy. Now, even if you do everything right, you may enter run into an issue of your code not running. And I found two answers. Those being added, adding hashtag define SDL main handled at the top of your code. But from what I read, this isn't recommended. 
And the other option I've read, which is better, is to just add int argc char argv into your main function. This should be it. Hopefully this solution works for you guys. I had to pull from a few different sources when I started because I couldn't find an answer that worked in a single place. If I did something wrong, just let me know in the comments. Good luck whatever you guys are working on. Hope this helps you out.